Asia Irving's diving efforts pay off against Perry Hall. Franklin's Andreas Price levitates for this catch against McDonough. Perry Hall's Kara Dietrich with the golden goal, Darius Sample uses every inch of the end zone. All coming up next on BCPX 14. Hello everyone and welcome back to an awesome episode of BCPS Sports Scene. We will take a look at how some of the area teams are doing so far this basketball season. To kick off the season, Hereford girls travel to Towson to take on the Generals. Let's see which team starts their season with a win. The Hereford Bulls visited the Towson Generals at Towson High School for the first game of the winter basketball season. Both teams were hoping to begin their own winning streak. Hereford's Bryn Deluzio takes a long shot from the far right side of the court and sinks it in. This begins the game with Hereford up by three. Hereford continues their control as Deluzio takes the ball all the way down the court and sinks another basket. Towson never gives up as Aaron Steinberg attempts to pass, which is blocked by Isabella Peterson. Reese Harden and Peterson pass the ball down the court and Hereford scores again. The Generals fight back and Elizabeth Swift scores the first point for the Generals, putting Towson on the board. Hereford's Libby May moves down the court quickly in hopes of scoring another basket for Hereford, but the action is stopped short as the whistle is blown. Rebecca Grimm shoots from the far left and sinks a basket. With the Generals trailing by 12, Grimm, Forgetta, and Swift pass the ball down the court as the Generals find their pace and score another point. Deluzio launches a pass to Nieberlin. She shoots and scores. Franklin's shot is a tad bit short, but her teammate Elizabeth Swift is there to try again and she scores. Towson continues the fight as Aaron Steinberg attempts a pass to her teammate, but the pass is blocked by Hereford's Reese Harden. Harden travels down the court and with a quick pass to Peterson, the Bulls score again. Cameron Smith scores another basket, helping the Bulls lead the game. Trailing behind, the Generals increase their energy and fight as Anna Lucas scores. Again, Anna Lucas puts up another shot and the Generals score again. Although the Bulls are leading, Isabella Peterson shoots and scores one more time. Cameron Smith gains control of the ball and sends it down the middle to Peterson, who scores again for the Bulls. The game ends with a score of 46 to 18. Hereford takes the win. With the winter season just starting, there's many more games ahead for the Generals and the Bulls. Moving on to boys basketball, Kenwood traveled to Dundalk for a battle against the Owls. Let's hit the hardwood as the Dundalk Owls were looking to go 2-0 and the Kenwood Bluebirds were looking for their first win of the early season. First quarter action, game tied at two, with a little under three minutes left in the quarter. But the Owls went on a 10-0 run. And senior guard Jalen Johnson drains back-to-back -back threes. The Bluebirds were able to end the run with a three by Dejon Harris. Owls lead 17-5 going into the second quarter. The Bluebirds tried to make some noise in the second quarter and made a little run. But the Owls would always answer, and the answer was Jalen Johnson, who would drop 21 on the night. Owls up 37-17 at the half. In the third quarter, the Kenwood Bluebirds tried to trim the lead down with this three by Eric Martin and cuts the lead to 12. But the Owls didn't blink. They still stayed on the gas in the last two quarters and went on to win big 65 to 44. The Dundalk Owls were just too tough to handle tonight. Dundalk comes away with the win. The Lady Patriots of Patapsco hosted the Chesapeake Bayhawks. In their home opener, the Patapsco girls basketball team faced a tough challenge as they hosted Chesapeake in an interdivision matchup. Competing against a tough defensive team, the young Patriots found it hard to work the ball low early in the game, but junior forward Jasmine Morris scraped for a loose ball and dropped it in for two. 
The Bayhawk defense was aggressive and took advantage of every opportunity for steals. Tamara Stanford got this pick and took it to the bucket. In the next possession, Stanford got another pick and pushed it ahead for Trinity Horton, who fed Denira Godwin for another Chesapeake score. But the Patriots were also opportunistic on the defense. Junior guard Lanaya Jacobs with a steal and assist to Asia Hill. Jacobs also added some scoring for the Patriots, bringing the ball up court and then following up a missed shot for two points. Chesapeake got points from sophomore Kayla Cabbage Stock, driving here for a bucket. Patapsco hung tough in the opening quarter. Jasmine Morris working the ball down low before kicking out to Liera Lizarraga Rosas, who hits the jumper. But Chesapeake had too much firepower for the Patriots. Trinity Horton hits a three. Then, Horton picks an inbounds pass and feeds Tamara Stanford for the bucket, as the Bayhawks took a 15-8 lead at the end of one. In the second, Chesapeake continued to extend their lead, as they worked the ball around the perimeter before Stanford drives for the bucket. Then, Stanford again, dropping a floater as Chesapeake pulled away to a 64-17 victory. With the winter season in full swing, let's take a look back at some of the top plays of the fall season. At number 10, Milford Mills' Desmond Shell gets the pitch and takes it to the house. Number 9, Hereford's Molly Blevins Pancake keeps the ball alive and the Bulls get a point off the block. Number eight, Sparrows Point's Julie Lynch converts a direct kick in the state championship. Number seven, Eastern Tech's Ahmed fires a laser into the net in the county championship game. Number six, Anna Brandt scores the only goal to lead Hereford to the county championship. Number five, Woodlawn QB DeMonte Johns evades pressure and takes it to the house. Number four, Perry Hall's Kara Dietrich finds the net from long distance in the state championship game. Number three, Franklin's Montre Harris scoops and scores on the block punt. Number two, Sparrows points Jasmine Pinter beats the goalkeeper to the ball and scores. And number one, Perry Hall's Kara Dietrich again, sealing the state title for the Gators. Keep an eye out for our next show and make sure to follow us on Twitter at BCPS Sports Scene for ongoing updates. Thanks for watching.